And you can see the German pellet factory behind me, where they process wood from the Black Forest and turn it into little pellets for pellet ovens. And quite a lot of people are against it, the people who are living next to this factory, because you can see uh, the smoke that it's putting out. And there again, uh, it's an alternative to oil. And they use all the scrap wood from the forest, shred it all up, shred up Christmas trees, and then it gets pressed together into these little pellets and you can use them in uh, pellet ovens. It's quite a big thing here at the moment. You can see all the wood stacked up there waiting to be crushed and shredded and processed into pellets. They can see the wood stacked up in front of the uh, silos there. And all that wood goes into a big shredder. I think that's the shredder there, that red thing. It comes out of the shredder and they pile it up in a big pile. Big dump trucks driving around taking it from the shredder. You can guess the people in that village there are not too happy, the ones who live downwind from the uh, factory. Because uh, the smoke, well they say it's steam, but it still smells a bit, it smells quite acrid, sort of woody smell. And the factory is quite loud too, it's a continuous uh, hertz frequency which I guess is quite annoying if you live next to it. And it seems a bit strange as well because this area was always well known for the quality of its air. And then they go and build this thing there right on the edge of the village. When you come in from the motorway to the lovely black forest, that's the first thing you see. But that's progress, I guess. the dumper loading in the shredded wood in, in, into the factory and that goes it's mixed with water I believe and pushed through a die under pressure and that creates the pellets and then they go into another conveyor belt and then they're dried see the small chimney I think that's powered from wood and they use wood to dry the wood so it seems like there's a lot of energy being expended to make these pellets. But the reason they, they make pellets is because then you can bring them to a stove with a screw mechanism. And also you can transport them in a tanker just like oil. And uh, you bring, some, bring them to people's houses and they can just blow, blow a whole tanker full of these pellets into the cellar. So that's the idea behind it. But it could never be really sustaining because if more than a certain amount of people went to pellets then there wouldn't be enough wood here and they'd, they'd have to import the wood or just chop all the trees down in the forest so it only seems like to be a stopgap solution to me.